All right, today we're gonna demonstrate how to measure aggregate stability. Okay, we've all seen this, the slake test, where we uh, take some soil and you know introduce some force upon it, which is water, and see how that soil acts. Um, you know, so here we got one that falls apart, has very low aggregate stability, and one that holds together fairly well. This would have a high aggregate stability, okay? Today we're gonna test the low aggregate stability sample. So we go to the field, we collect a surface sample, um, from zero to three inches, you know, kind of break it up. Um, we pour it into the sieves. We have a number, uh, a two millimeter sieve on top of a one millimeter sieve on top of a pan. So we shake it, remove the top. The one to two millimeter size is the size we're gonna use for the test. So we take that out and we wanna measure three grams, okay? So I've zeroed it out with a coffee filter here, measured three grams. I take those size of aggregates and put them in a half millimeter sieve that is in distilled water, okay? So we soak this overnight, and then the following morning, what I would do is agitate it. So how well does that aggregate hold together when acted upon by water? And as you can see, these aggregates are falling apart. Um, and in the bottom of the pan is a lot of unstable aggregates that fell through the sieve, okay? So I go up and down 20 times in 40 seconds, and then I remove the sieve, and the lab procedure says to cook it in an oven until it's dry. I don't have an oven, so I filtered it through a coffee filter again, and then that's what remains after filtering. Okay, I take that out, and I dry it in a microwave. So that's what I have here. And then reweigh it. And this one is 0.3 grams, so then we calculate percent stable aggregates. So if we start with three, we have 0.3, we have 10% stable aggregates, okay? So for reference, this is 10%. This is not good. You see a lot of dissolved sediment in water. Um, that's the stuff that you lose as water flows over the surface. That's what you lose in erosion. Um, this one stays nice and clear. So that's the big difference. And this one for reference, I also ran, is 72% stable aggregates. And that is the lab procedure for measuring aggregate stability.